We're in the home stretch with the basement TV. Oops, can't do that. <laughs> We're in the home stretch with everything now. And of course, in the end, there's a million little tiny bits and pieces, little things. You say, I want to touch this up. I want to do that. I want to do this. I want to do that. Little things blang back and forth. So I did a few things. I put thumbtacks over here for the um, speaker wire. I don't like that I put that one there and that one there. It's staggered. Should be on the same side. Don't know why I did that. So I got to fix that. Have not gotten a chance just yet. This slat is broken. That's how I bought the house. I don't break shit. This is how I bought it. Maybe you could see. Oh yeah, you could see it there. So I want to put some like wood glue and like a C-clamp on that. Leave the door open obviously and let it heal. The wood cleat that I put up here was, uh, what do you call it? It was a little crooked. So I got out my sander and I sanded all of that down. I had to remove these magnets again to do that and then put them back and that's all good. I ended up redoing the double stick tape there and still didn't get it straight but this time I wasn't able to tape them all in line. I did some more troubleshooting with this which I'll tell you about in a minute but I had to replace the double stick tape because of course the dust from the sanding. So now I got a vacuum in here also. So now because my cable company sucks I have to upload this video I just took with the phone so it'll be ready by the time I'm done with this video so I can edit. Did a little clean up of the stereo I didn't get out the q-tips but all the gunk that was around that I cleaned that off wiped everything down again I gotta throw the vacuum in here one more time we gotta pull the system out find out why the DVD drive doesn't eject and seemingly makes no noise. Did I knock the cable loose? I don't know. We got to pull it and find out. This white cable back here that I rigged up to the ghetto subwoofer, that's got to get replaced. Uh, what else? Oh, so let me tell you more about the infrared IR blaster and blaster and all that stuff. Uh, it works. It was proven in the last video that indeed it does work. So in the last video you saw it with the cell phone camera stuck in there with the infrared you saw the over here and over here rows of the basement and the backyard and the backyard certainly was firing just fine. Well I slept on the whole thing and I had an epiphany it's when you sleep on things and they get you ideas. So I woke up today and I said, oh, wait a minute. What if that lower row of infrared emitters is maybe too low? I don't know. But there was an easy way to test for that. And that's because the system is modular. Those two eighth inch or 3.5 millimeter monaural plugs and the two jacks. I just swapped them. So that made the top row the backyard and the bottom row the basement which made it a shit ton easier to test. And it worked perfectly. So I said okay doesn't matter the position these emitters are working and doing exactly what they need to both rows that's all perfect. So the problem is either electrical in nature or the receiver thing is a piece of shit. It's the ladder. You know, the thing you climb up. No, no, no. The ladder. That means it's a piece of shit. The little receiver guy. I went out in the back and I played with that. And I found just the right angle to point the remote. And it works every single time right in that vicinity. So it has a very narrow angle that it reads from. This one seems to do better. 
Is that due to it being cheap and made from made in China? I'm going to order another one and see if that one behaves any better. If it does, then it gets returned. If it doesn't, then I'll keep it and maybe we'll go through that whole IR blaster bullshit again if I split the cable to the garage so I can have the TV in there work again. Uh, what the hell else went on? Uh, I don't really remember, but we got a lot of little things to do with that. So, let me run the vacuum in there quick. We'll do that first. This vacuum has stanchions, too. It's kind of too long, but, you know, I can make it even longer like that if I wanted to, to have a dinky little tiny brush at the end. That's dumb. We'll do it like that, and that's too long, but that's how you, that's, that's the size you get. So, anyway, let me get down in here, and, oh, that hurt, and I think I just sliced my head open. That's great. That's nice. <laughs> no, not bleeding yet. Here is the power switch piece that broke off from the stereo. That's nice. Put that up there so I don't suck that up accidentally. And um, pull this guy back out. Let's vacuum. doesn't seem to be worth much of a damn. It just doesn't stay locked in. Okay. Let's pull that system out and see why in the hell the DVD drive doesn't work. This thing definitely had a few miles put on it today. All right, it's time to open this up and see if there's anything obvious like cables loose or anything. So safety third, make sure you unplug your system before dicking around inside. We'll pull the two screws right quick and get inside of this thing. That's what he said. And see if there's just anything stupid or if it's just the drive being old. Cable, 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 yeah. It's all connected. New York telephone. There is an unused four pin there. It makes noise. Oh, right? So it just works here now? Wouldn't work in there. No, no, no. No, don't want that. Oh, I think it is jamming. Yeah, I don't want to pull back in. belt slipping in it. All right, it's just getting old. There's nothing to be done. You can hear that clunk in the end, so that's all it is. Um, yeah, they get old. You can replace the belt in it. That's as far as it goes. And it tries to go back and needs you to slam it. Is it working now? 
It was. <laughs> it's getting confused. It's like those elevator twerps. The elevators go up and down. The optical drive goes out and in. What a fucking concept. There we go. Shame on me for not doing that right the first time. That's horrible. I don't do work like that. Fun fact about Jay, I did not own any thumbtacks, and I had to buy them. I now own 500 of them, so I won't need them for the rest of my life. Computer box. Did you hear it? The belt is slipping on it. That's what it is. That's the whole problem. So, it of course was not me once again, but that's back in and everything is good. Oh, we gotta put this guy back. Magnets. There's that. Just put that in there. I guess uh, I don't need the light. Oh, actually I will, so I'll leave that. I wanted to settle the score, really, just for myself, on the uh, speakers and the reverse channels on them. So what I'm doing here is bringing up cat control panel. And we're going to go over to sound and sound. And the built-in speakers. So that works. So now what we're going to do is change cables. We'll take the cable out of the subwoofer, unplug the input, and plug the subwoofer cable in there. So now I just have a line in direct into these speakers. We'll plug that into this netbook. I don't know if this has to register and do things and tell you you plugged shit in. Yeah, it does. What did you plug in? Speakers. Okay. So now, test. Yep, I don't know if you can tell. Definitely left and right. So that proves that the VGA up converter swaps channels. I haven't the foggiest notion why. Was it an error in design of the circuit board? Probably. Something miswired on the on the board. Could only imagine. Uh, time to put the subwoofer in. So I, I just need to kind of do that because I gotta feed the wire down and get underneath and pull about 87,000 liquor bottles. It's, it takes a little time. Well, I got power in. That was a lot of fun. Ended up recovering a tap. You know, plugs in, gives you more outlets. This is good to have in case, you know, you got to plug more shit in elsewhere. It even has a price tag on it from National Wholesale Liquidators back in the day. 225 that much wow well, anyway front pocket fine there um subwoofer well actually before we do that we'll plug the subwoofer cable into the subwoofer jack plug the line in cable back into the speakers and there's kind of no good way to do this, so, oh dear. There we go. 
that in there, that cable there, that's okay. Stuff this back there. Power. Green clean light. This cable has to come through there and around and in. Tuck that down. Just kind of jam it in there somehow. Call it good. VGA up converter. Just sort of sits crookedy. That's kind of how it's always been. Right there like that. And there's the setup. Hmm. Can't see the green clean light as well as I would have hoped, but oh well, it's there. There we go. All right, that's good. I'll test that off camera. I lied, we'll test it on camera. Now we'll adjust it. Respectable. Respectable. For what it is, you know, just have a little extra chooch. Yeah, we'll go with it. And obviously you shut that and that'll go. Some of today's messages may receive way to We'll be back to There's no sound on the composite because I'm not really going to leave it there. That's another side project I haven't gotten into. But anyway, we can call this done uh, as far as that goes. I wish there's a better way to do this, but it is just not the clearance, and that's kind of how it goes. So, oh well, such is. And um, it just it kind of always sat like that, and that's that. So, good. That's all done. And yes, lots of herringbone pattern. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I'll look into that another time. I'm not worried about it for right now because nobody's using the composite. For children is able to and the S video has got some of that too, but it's not horrible. So anyway, good enough for that. And that project is done. Now we've got to make a new cable for the subwoofer. I have another cut off phono plug, as they used to be called, or RCA plug. Don't know if it works. I'll have to meter that. I have some recovered, very, very thin speaker wire. I know this works. I'm not going to not test it. In other words, I'm going to test that first. I'll get everything together and do all that. I'll size it up with the old cable that was here and make it couple feet longer. I got plenty of cable. Also in the mix while doing that I found this white cable which is completely tangled up here now which is great. Just some recovered old stuff you know. Oh wow yeah. This I had for some other project somewhere. I think this cable, this is a 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter TRS plug at each end. I didn't have one at the time, so I made my own. I think this plug was off of the little speaker that's at the upstairs in the hallway, below the siren, the alarm strobe, rather. And this was from a set of computer speakers. Uh, just taped, probably. I don't know. I'll look into that. That's a project for another time. Uh, I'm going to try one more time with the solder seal connectors. I'm going to do all the pre-work here, get everything metered, get the right length, get everything all set, and I'll put it in the, 
the uh, helping hands and we'll see if the solder seal works. This is going to be dodgy as hell, <laughs> but we'll give it a shot. Yep, there it went. That worked. Round two. Did it go? I now it had to. Yeah, it singed. So, yeah, that's good. All right, let that cool. Man, don't overheat these things. They reek when they burn. Man. Good. And good. Now some heat shrink. Yeah, it's a little couple strands there won't worry about that it's funny you heard the door chime before i came upstairs the whiff came home and she said do you smell something burninating and i said yeah no no everything's fine <laughs> yeah don't overheat these bad news very bad news but it works got some heat shrink for it right there get it right past that there we go somewhere in there is good I guess do these open up more to make it like better -er? yeah it does good Quick sanity check. Good. And good. I don't care what the reading is, just that it's there. And now, one more step for that. Via con Dios, we prima. Vaya con Dios, mi amor. Put some ferrules on the end of the rear. That's good. Oh, that's not staying. Everything is falling down. Everything is bad. I thought only London Bridge is supposed to fall down. Go over here. Go away. Good. Okay, I get the tool. We got the tool. We got the ferrule. Now, does it say? Oh, it does. Yeah. So I think them white ones are going to be, because we're looking at like, or maybe the gray. I like them black ones, though. Are they the same length? That's the question. Um, yeah, I guess so. Okay, good, I can go with that. We can do white ones, that's fine. Now let's just see if it will indeed fit over the wire. Sure does. We got to clip that down, but I wonder if we could just clip it like this. Just run the run the blade right up. Yeah, that works. Okay, that's good.
Here we go. One more to go. Got to do a little twisty on that. And pull the same shit. Clip that off. If my cutters want to cooperate. There we go. <clears throat> Crimpity, crimp. There we go. Now, how do we tell them apart? I think that's the silver wire. And I think that's the copper colored wire, but I'm not positive. See how it gets, see how it's dark like that? Like it tarnishes in there because it's very poor quality stuff. Um, I don't know, fuck it, you know, let's just meter it and see what's what. This one is the positive, which is the darker colored wire. Like I said, it tarnishes. I only made this wire like four miles too long. See how much nicer that big hole is? That's what he said. Okay. Now we just have to grab it. There it is. Put the heat shrink part through. And that's probably more than long enough. Come back around. Oh yeah, that's got to go way down in here. And around to here. And... There's a buzz, which I think is just noise, but that means it works, so that's what he came for. Noise and noise. Bitsy. It works! Three little letters. Ladies and gentlemen! I think we can call this project a success. Holy crap! That was a hell of a lot of work! There's everything. Everything is chooching. Just back how it used to be. We got it all. We got it all. You know, the TV just playing what it's playing, which copyright, we can't see. Music that you can't hear, because copyright, so we gotta talk over it. Everything chooching. That is on a different program than that is on. You know, it's all that kind of... So there you go. There's like friggin' everything chooching now. I don't know how much power that all of this is pulling. Holy... <laughs> I even turned the bar lights on. Yeah, I gotta clean up by the bar. Yeah, but looking good. Fail blog. Speakers. With the sub now. Didn't turn that on. Had to unplug it before getting the power for the sub in. Got to reset that. So little tiny bits here and there, but yeah, I think uh, I think we did it. I, I really, I mean, this is kind of it. I don't have every, every, everything on, but you know, most of the way there. Uh, yeah, God damn. Oh, I love how this area is clear now. 
I even cleaned the floor with Dynatrack approved pine cleaner. Everything is just nice, perfect, cabinet. Oh yeah, it's all there. Ooh, and the only thing left is a new optical cable for the sound bar, which is just on to give you the lights. Although, remember, I can switch that. Where's my thing? Uh, looking for the button. Oh, went past it. I went past it again. You should have chooch out of that. Okay. Got to fix that. It works now. It was actually no problem at all. The PC, the old PC volume was just down so far that it said, no, I don't hear anything. So I'll wait for the new IR blaster to come in for the, uh, to see if that's the problem in the backyard. If not, then it just is crap and that's what I bought and that's that. And also have to take a look at my little Campbell Hausfeld one gallon air compressor. So we'll have a video on that. Uh, but uh, man, start to finish, uh, I think sometime in November, I started on this project and here we are almost the very, very end of December. December 26th, and I can pretty much officially call this project completely done. Wow. <laughs> that, that, was, that was an absolute hell of a lot of work. I really honestly don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. I did everything I can possibly think of. I mean, I can go crazy and add more stuff, like put lights in the cabinet. Who's going in there? You know? I could do these things. I have these things. I can do them. But, you know, how involved do you want to get with everything? It's already way too involved as it is. So, uh, yeah, that's good. Okay, uh, that's really going to wrap this up for now. Um, again, we got to look at the Campbell Hausfeld air compressor. Maybe we'll have another little quick video on the IR blaster when that comes in. Don't know yet. But uh, I'm calling the project pretty much done at this point. Thank you ever so kindly to everyone, especially if you've gone through all of the parts of this video over the time it's been released. This was a hell of a lot of work, and it's going to pay off for many years to come. I really appreciate all of you for watching, and I hope to see you again in the very next video. So thank you very kindly for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Jay's Bar is O-P-E-N. Open. Come on over. Let's drink. Let's enjoy.